<coughs> good morning and even good afternoon today uh, I have come with this new idea and it is combining patterns inked well it is an essay written by David Kirby it is a research work the writer has presented what the tattoo exactly is it is about tattoo culture the writer has gone through the history of the tattoo culture he has visited different people different places and met with different people and have has taken the email address of different people and even have asked the consent of them to talk about the tattoo culture why they had the tattoo and how they had the tattoo in fact in their life these are the things that the writer has exactly presented in the essay right it is a it is a kind of research essay let's see combining patterns in dwell in dwell means a tattooed well is a research article written by david kirby it explains about the origin of tattoos and what they signify among various groups of people and individuals in some cultures tattoos mark the right of passage into adulthood people have sported tattoos more than 5000 years ago it has come before okay, more than 5000 years before they symbolize tattoos symbolize spiritual protection status markers within a clan and fertility these are the beliefs that tattoos uh, symbolize the spiritual protection okay and status markers within the clan means within certain okay, group of the people of their own caste and even fertility this is traditional belief about tattoo the writer is attempting to rob the idea that tattoos are evil right in the past people believe that tattoos were evil tattoos are not taken as positive thoughts even at present and in front of the judges tattoos were not visible and if tattoo people are shown are found and they are supposed to be criminal they are supposed to be evil they are supposed to be from the lower uh, ranking group they did not have uh, and do not have better better ideas such thoughts was there in the established established in the society and such ideas are uh, the writer going to rub it out and the writer says tattoos are not as bad as it were in the past and they are good even at today we have to accept the tattoos not as the bad evil signs he supports for the practice of making tattoos so writer is supporting the practice of making tattoos tattoos are also the good system of life right that is his point he also gives some disadvantages of tattoos but there has been increasing number of tattoos making people tattoo making people making people are increasing in number there are disadvantages about the tattoos too because it hurts in the skin it did not have so easy to have a tattoo in the past because the modern technology ha was not developed though increasing number of the people in tattoo tattoo making shoes that it has come as a face and as a common idea as a common uh, thing uh, a kind of art in the modern life tattoos are means for self identity tattoos are reflected as or tattoos reflect self identity having tattoos of a friend signify the bond of relationship if the tattoos are made about the friend or if friends tattoos are made and it is supposed to be the relationship bond of relationship good relationship it is also about the freedom of having tattoos now there is a freedom of having tattoos there is no protection just against of any law to pro prohibit the tattoo to have in our body most of the tattooed people is group uh, fall between 18 to 50 18 years to 50 50 years people have put the tattoos in their bodies 
the writer talks about tattoos, their origin and the liberty of having it as the will of the individuals. People have their will, they have liberty, they have their own identity, belief of having tattoos and it is the personal right, individual right, no one can prohibit it. The certain, the certain popularity of tattoos among American bourgeois is undeniable. Even upper class people, rich people, American bourgeoisies, means okay, rich people are having tattoos. It is not deniable. They also believe that tattoos are good and they put the tattoos. Some tattooed people are easier to read than others. Tattoos have a richer social history than one might think. It has a richer social history than what one has imagined, right? People have put tattoos for some for more than five thousand years. See, for more than five thousand years, people are using this tattoo culture. They are using tattoos. They are having tattoos in their bodies, and the culture history of tattoo goes back to the five thousand years. In modern Western culture, tattoos mainly serve as body adornment, love of the body. Right in the United States today, the most popular tattoos include skulls, hearts, eagles, stars, dragons, crosses, as well as abstract tribal designs based on motifs that originated among Polynesian islanders. That means this tattoo has exactly originated from the Polynesian islanders. And in United States today, the popular tattoos are the tattoos of a skull. They are the tattoos of hearts. They are the tattoos of eagles. They are the tattoos made of stars. They are, tattoo of, they are tattoos, okay, dragons and crosses and abstract ideas are there. And those tattoos refla reflect originated uh, original culture of Polynesian islanders. The Celtic tattoos are designed as flowers, butterflies and Chinese characters are also popular in tattoo makings, right? So tattoos of flowers are there, tattoos of uh, uh, butterflies and Chinese characters tattoos are there. Original design may be worth thousands of dollars and even more original design of tattoo was really much more valuable it would have been thousands of dollars thousands of dollars and more than that cost it was original tattoo tattoos were brought to europe from polynesian by 18th century british explorers british explorers went in polynesia and they brought a tattoo in europe in the 18th centuries by those explorers First European aristocrats got tattooed because it was too expensive in the beginning and later the tattoo machines got invented and it became easy, cheap for all. So in the beginning aristocrats, rich people used to have a tattoo. At present now not only rich, when the machine was invented, tattoo machine was invented and common people and also started having tattoo. Then the working class people started having tattoos when invention of machine was there for tattoo making and common working class people started making tattoos. As a result, aristocrats stopped having tattoos as the low status markers. In the beginning, aristocrats made, they were fond of making tattoos because lower working class people had not made. It was expensive too before the invention of the machine. When it became cheap, when became it became easy for tattoo making and it went rich to the poor working class people too. And then now people started aristocrat aristocrats or rich class people stopped putting tattoos, right? They thought it was lower class people's sign. Europeans who had tattoos in those days were not social bottom dwellers they were not of lower class dwellers they were rich class people when they had the tattoos and later invention of the uh, tattoo machines and bottom dwellers started having tattoos and top dwellers stopped having tattoos americans first saw tattoos in the new world on their conflicted indian host 
as early as 1580. This was the first time when American people saw a tattoo and it, was, it became popular, popular there. William Wood, this is a pilgrim colonist, described that Indian chiefs of New England as having tattooed their faces, arms, legs with elaborate geometrics, patterns and totemic animal symbols. They used to make different types of tattoos of faces, tattoos of legs, tattoos of geometrics, patterns and totemic animals as a symbol of their uh, art. To Protestants of ascetic temperaments, these exotic displays were a, a piece with the colonist concept to see Indians as prime, primal, primal savages. It was shown that Indian people were not civilized. They were supposed to be savages and that's why they had the tattoo. This sort of culture was there. It was believed, right? However, tattoos came ultimately to signify patriotism rather than exoticism in the United States. Those people who had the tattoos that reflected a kind of patriotism. They were loving their country. They were devoted to their country, to their nation. It became later on in the United States. The first non-professional tattoo artist in the United States was one Martin Hildebrand, Hildebrand who set off a shop in New York City in 1846. In 1846, in New York City, there was a tattoo shop set up and then really good professional tattoos artists started in the business of tattoos. So later tattoos became the business. Tattoos became fashionable among members of the European aristocracy who encountered the practice during 19th century trips to the Far East when they came there in the Far East in Asia and they thought that tattoos was uh, tattoos became the symbol of fashion but later it was not as regarded as it was thought. By the beginning of the World War I, the lords and ladies had all abandoned bodily decoration. They did not want to decorate their bodies. The hard process of making tattoos with a single needle was made obsolete means out of use now with the invention of electric tattoo machine and it was invented in 1891 when this electric tattoo machine came and then people thought it was easy. They regarded it was not difficult to make it. Tattooing became easier less painful with the invention of the machine, mainly cheaper with the tattoo machine invention. This led to the speedy spread of the practice throughout the working class and it was abandoned by the rich. I told you, bottom class people started having tattoos when the invention of the machine of the tattoo was there because it became cheaper, it became very easy and then less painful people started now everyone started having tattoos and poor people started it rich people ab ab abandoned it by the middle of the 20th century tattooing seemed largely the province of bikers convicts and other groups on the margin of society yes in the beginning of the 20 middle of the 20th century tattoos means only bikers used to put it only convicts and criminals used to put the tattoos and only the groups of the marginal margin of society used to put tattoos these types of beliefs beliefs were there in the tw early 20 middle of the 20th century tattoos were the tribal marks that someone paid somebody to cut into their skin it was believed that it was a kind of tribal mark and people used to pay someone by cutting their skin right so that everyone would know that they belong to a world populated by crooks and crips that means they belong to the world populated by bad people cri okay, criminal people so it was thought that tattoos was a kind of tribal being someone to mm, mm, by cutting the skin and it was just thought that it was the activities of the crooks and the crips in the late 19th 20th century middle class began showing off in troops at tattoo 
parlors now middle class people started going to tattoo parlors tattoo rooms and they started having their tattoos in their bodies a study in the june 19 2006 <coughs> issues of the journal of american academy of D uh, dermatology reveals that as many as 20 percent of men and women between the ages of 18 and 50 have one or more tattoos in their bodies it was the research in 2006 it was found out that more than uh, say dermato academy of Dermat dermatologists logist found out that 20 percent men and women have the tattoos of the age of 18 to 50 at least one or more tattoos up from just 15 to 16 percent in the 2003 men and women are equally likely to have likely to be tattooed there is no difference women have more tattoos and male have, okay men do not have all of them have the tattoos equally right and these days the title the little old lady sitting next to someone in charge may have a tattoo anyone can have a tattoo we cannot believe it but anyone can have such tattoo tattoos people even want to remove the tattoos later and they regret do in having tattoos when people want to remove the tattoos later on they regret why did they have the tattoos right in the beginning they had the tattoos later they want to remove it and while removing they have to use uh, surgery more and more people want would who would not have dreamed of being tattooed a few years back are stepping into business of tattoo in paying good money to have sketches of bone boxes and court gestures and spider waves incised into their highest means into their bodies they anyone who is not having tattoo who have not even dreamed of having tattoos before now they are having tattoos never get a tattoo where a judge can see this is a proverb is the belief of the people at that time do george if george sees the tattoo and he or she is punished that was the concept in the past but the number of tattooed ladies and gentlemen may be higher that what is found and rising more to day to day now these men and women are having tattooed and then maybe they are found more and they are just having tattoos not common not in a few forms right it seems that more and more people from every walks of life in the united states are getting tattooed nowadays but not where the jaws can see it only the tattoos are hidden in the body sacred part of the body closed covered by the clothes prior to prior to the 1970s most tattoo designers designs were masculine depicting military icons motorcycle insignia and roaring animals these sort of tattoos were there in, there in the past with the peace gay and women's liberation movements came uh, a whole new generation of tattoo designs now different uh, tattoo designers started liberation of mo women's movement also became the tan gen uh, a kind of design of tattoo gay peace number of things now tattoos are the peace symbols if those people who are having tattoos and we have to believe that they have, they want the peace tattoos have always been a means of identifying oneself and tattoos are always meant to be read and they are the sacred part of the power of swords tattoos are to be studied they are sacred book we can read mm, different things from the tattoos they are to be studied they are to be identified oneself when we get a cat tattoo we write ourselves speaking and we make it possible for others to read us means when we have the tattoo in our body that means we are speaking ourselves and other people can read us can watch our tattoo and by watching our tattoo they can see what tattoo exactly is, what our culture exactly is what we are what sort of um, pictures what sort of images we are making in our body and those images can speak about the tattoos to other people they have to read on the part of the body of the tattoos tattooed people right it means every tattoo has a story to tell no one puts tattoo without any in a hobby 
right story it has a story and if the tattoos cannot tell the whole tale then the tattooed can tell the story if tattooed means tattoos cannot tell the story then the people who have tattooed can tell the story if the tattoos itself cannot tell the story and people who have already got the tattoos they can tell the story why they had the tattoo what is the meaning of having tattoo the writer's reading and his conversations with the tattoo tell him that these are there are two types of tattoo narratives one is record book and the canvas tattoo is itself a record book another is the canvas that is okay these types of two narratives are there melissa the young woman who got the tattoo was to signify bonding with a friend and it was capturing a relationship as one might with a photograph even though the relationship failed she she did not have good relationship with her boyfriend her relationship failed melissa's relationship with the boyfriend failed but she had a tattoo about the boy boyfriend in her body and it shows what sort of bone she had she, she wanted to signify the relationship with her friends and though it fell it was there it can be studied and read by the people in the pop music world rap artists and other musicians something sometimes get tattoos of friends or relatives who have died violently or merely passed away they just have the tattoos of the dead people in public pop music world in rap artists such things are going on the most elegant hill to get uh, to gets ugly in sides because of the tattoos in the ankles means elegant beautiful heels people put on in their ankles in their feet but if they have the tattoos in their body in their ankles and it does not make attractive rather it makes quite ugly it does not give better position of the tattoos right yes singer songwriter Annie D. Franco says that her tattoos are mile keepers road maps pictures of places I have been to that is what he says he has made tattoos wherever he has gone road maps and even the pictures of the places wherever he has visited right tattooing may have been the first art researchers have found sharpen pieces ma ma magazines right magnesis magnes dioxide which may have used to color animal skins this is what the researchers finding the ancient Egyptians practiced simple tattooing of oval patterns on arms, on legs, and on their bellies. They used to put that sort of tattoos. That is Egyptians' practice. African tribes pierce and scar the body routinely. They make a hole in the body routinely. They make a wound in the body. In a way, the writer says that tattoos are officially okay in the belief of him. Today, writer believes that tattoos are not so bad. They are officially okay. They are good. They are to be accepted. They are normal. Even those can now see and cannot punish the tattooed person. The author has done research and has met the number of people and he has taken their views regarding the tattoos and their views have been reflected in the essay. He has taken interviews and come to the conclusion that tattoos are taken normally and it is accepted officially in the United States too today. It is not rejected and refused, right? It has become the habit and just like fashion in the world. It is not only the art but also the culture and identity marker of the people at present. But people had negative attitudes about the tattoos in the past. However, this concept and views have been changed and tattoos are accepted as normal as the identity of the people. Negative concept of tattoos of the past has been changed is the positive one with the passage of time tattoos are to be regarded as the culture of art and it must be taken in a normal form it is not so difficult it is not so bad to have a tattoo this is how the writer has gone back to the history of the tattoo past how it was it came from polynesia many british explorers went to far east and they 
took this statue as the status markers and first of all rich class people aristocrats had the tattoos and late because it was expensive it was difficult to have the tattoos later when the tattoo in the uh, tattoo machine was invented and the lower class people also started having tattoos it became cheaper it became easier when rural working class people started having tattoos upper class stopped rich class people aristocrats stopped getting tattoos so these sort of ups and downs are there in the past tattoo was regarded as a negative marker criminals okay ideas and mm, even they were afraid of jaws in front of the jaws to show the tattoos now this negative one's a bad change into positive one it is very common it is normal and everyone can have tattoos and tattoo culture has developed a kind of better system today to accept it to believe it not as a seriously as a criminal activities but as a positive and normal activities that people people put it and it is a kind of art in fact a little bit i have to talk to talk in nepali to the nepali sanskrit students you tattoo culture man inked well bane kai ramro de tattoo lagaeko bane ko es rese ma lekhak le field ma gaer sampurna tattoo lagaeka manche har lai betera ti tattoo lagaune manche har ko katha lai liyera aafno tattoo bane ke ra cha bhanne aafno vichar sahit lekhnu bha cha yes ma kati ta tattoo le nai aafai bolcha sarir ma tattoo lagaiyo bhane tattoo bolna thalcha aru le hamila padnu parne huncha tattoo bhane ko ra record book ho hamro lai aru padne ka lagi tattoo ma dui ta euta katha भनिन्छ अरे एउटा रेकर्ड बुक हो भनिन्छ एउटा क्यानभास हो हाम्रो शरीरै क्यानभास भएको हुन्छ ट्याटु भनेको एउटा आर्ट हो कला हो कल्चर हो सबभन्दा पहिला ट्याटुलाई लाउने मान्छेहरूलाई ट्याटु लगाउनेहरूलाई चाहिँ जजका अगाडि बस्न डर लाग्थ्यो दिँदैन थियो डराइन्थ्यो छ त्यो ट्याटु भनेको अपराधीले क्रिमिनलले तल्लो दर्जाका मान्छेले नराम्रा मान्छेहरूले डाकाहरूले गुन्डाहरूले फटाहरूले लाउने भन्ने कन्सेप्ट थियो पास्टमा त्यसलाई अहिले चेन्ज भएर अब चाहिँ ट्याटु भनेको जो कहिले लाउन सकिन्छ ट्याटु त्यो पुरानो सोचाइ जस्तो होइन यो आइडेन्टिटी मार्क हो आफ्नो पहिचान दिने स्टेटस मार्कर हो एउटा रा के त प्याट्रोटिजम भनेको देशभक्तिको भावना देखाउने मार्कर हो कसैले कसैले ट्याटु लगाएर नयाँ कुरो भनिरहेको हुन्छ एउटाले बोयफ्रेन्डको पिक्चर हाल्यो भने त्यो बोयफ्रेन्डको ट्याटुले के बनाए हुन्छ त भन्दा उसको सम्बन्ध देखाएको हुन्छ गर्लफ्रेन्डको पिक्चर चाहिँ ट्याटु गर बनाएर राख्यो भने उसको सम्बन्ध कस्तो थियो भन्ने देखाएको हुन्छ र अहिले आएर आधुनिक युगमा ट्याटु जो कहिले जसरी लागे पनि हुन्छ अफिसियली ओके छ यसलाई पुरानो कन्सेप्ट नराम्रो भन्ने कन्सेप्टलाई अहिले चेन्ज भइसकेको छ पुरानो चाहिँ ट्याटु एउटा सिओले घोचेर पुवाल पारेर दुःख कसरत पूर्ण तरिकाले लगाउनु पर्थ्यो भने अहिले ट्याटु मेसिन इन्भेन्सन भयो भने बनाइयो जुन न्युयोर्कमा छ ट्याटुबाट अहिले बिजनेसै सुरु भएको छ ट्याटु लगाएका मान्छेहरू कति चाहिँ पछि त्यसलाई हटाउन पनि थालेका छन् त्यति बेला पश्चाताप पनि गर्छन् किन लगाइयो भनेर अनि तर जसले पश्चताप गरे पनि नगरे पनि अठार वर्षदेखि पचास वर्षका मान्छेहरू सबैभन्दा बढी ट्याटु लगाउने चाहिँ बढिरहेको छ यो सङ्ख्या बढेको छ यो सङ्ख्या बढेको देख्दाखेरि ट्याटुलाई सामान्य रूपमा लिन थालेको छ ट्याटुलाई एउटा कल्चरको रूपमा लिन थालेको छ ट्याटुलाई नर्मल पोजिसनको रूपमा लिन थालेको छ ट्याटु भनेको पोजिटिभ कन्सेप्ट हो भनेर थालिएको छ यो नै राइटरको कन्सेप्ट के थियो उद्देश्य नै के थियो भन्दा ट्याटु प्रतिको निगेटिभ धारणालाई हटाएर ट्याटुलाई पोजिटिभ पक्षमा ल्याएर अनि ट्याटु भने नर्मल हो है ट्याटुलाई नराम्रो नभन्नु है ट्याटुलाई सामान्य रूपले ल्याउँ है भन्ने कन्सेप्टका लागि यो रिसर्च आर्टिकल लेख्या छ कतिपय डरलाग्दा मान्छेहरू एकदम अचम्म लाग्दा मान्छेहरूलाई भेटेर उनीहरूको इमेल मागेर उनीहरूसँग गफ गरेर तपाईँले ट्याटुको बारेमा मलाई स्टुडियो भनिदिनु पर्छ भनेर पछि कन्ट्याक्ट इमेलबाट कन्ट्याक्ट गरेर स्टुडियोबाट उनीहरूलाई सोधेर खोजेर डरलाग्दा मान्छेहरूसँग पुगेर भेटेर रिसर्च गरेर लेखिएको आर्टिकल हो लेख हो यो जसमा ट्याटुको बारेमा चाहिँ आर्टको मुटुको अनि इगल्सको विभिन्न छोरा छुरुङ्गीहरूको यस्तो खालको ट्याटु लगाउने कल्चर पनि भएको हुनाले ट्याटुले मान्छेलाई आ पनि बि किसिमको पहिचान दिन्छ ट्याटु भनेको खराब होइन ट्याटु एउटा पोजिटिभ साइड हो है भन्ने म्यासेज यहाँ राइटरले दिन खोजेका छन् दिस इज हाउ द राइटर ह्याज कन्क्लुडेड द कन्सेप्ट द्याट ट्याटु इज नट ब्याड ट्याटु इज टु बी एक्सेप्टेड नर्मली ट्याटु इज टु बी टेकन एज अ कल्चर ट्याटु इज टु बी टेकन एज द आर्ट फर्स्ट इस्टाब्लिस इन द पास्ट इन द हिस्ट्री अफ ह्युमन ह्युमेनिटी ह्युमन बिइङ्स सो द नम्बर अफ इन्क्रिजिङ Uh, tattooed people from 18 to 50 reflects that tattoo is 
just getting better business and there are tattoo okay, uh, machines and tattoo business people are there working in the United States in the US in the uh, Europe and throughout the world tattoo is becoming very normal and coming up and up with its own dignity identity and its position this is how the writer has concluded the concept of tattoo and tattoo culture thank you you can read it and enjoy in it okay bye bye